Hello, welcome back to the Happy Huts. And this video is about the Happy Hut because today I'm going to be putting up this. It's the IKEA Hopfowl's retractable blind. It's like a cellular blind. I'm not actually putting it up. I've, I've already put them up in the hut. They're fantastic. All I'm doing is just moving them five centimeters closer to the window. And, oh. Never had one lesson. In reality, I don't think this video is about the IKEA blind, but I will show you how they work. This video might be about the hut itself, or even maybe the security that I have for the hut. I've got a problem with the happy hut, and it's this. I'm not sure this footage does it justice. You can see into the blind. The blinds kind of block out what's inside. And just for, for security, it just doesn't feel right that you can see through the cracks at the side. I'm not sure that moving the blind from here to here or a bit closer to the window is going to stop someone who wants to break in. If someone wants to do badness to the heart, they, they're gonna do it, aren't they? I'm doing this course, this filmmaking course, at monthly.com. It's the Casey Neistat filmmaking course. You don't need to focus on your private life to tell a story with depth. So as you're searching for this more premeditated idea for our next movie, know that ultimately you should choose a story that's compelling to you. You're supposed to share something a bit more personal about yourself. And I feel a bit awkward about that because this heart is incredibly personal to me even though I've shared it with hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube and this is, I think this is why I love the place you and I get to experience this through videos like this there's a difference between sharing the heart publicly and feeling like someone might come here and do something bad to it or break into it the first thing I realized was that this hut is literally five years old almost to the day when this hut was put up in the garden I've got some shots of it here. It took a, a day for a team of men to put up. That took six months after we actually saw the thing. Here's our visit to, I think it was the Grand Designs conference or exhibition. There were huts there, but this one kind of leapt out. This is a hut that doesn't look right. The windows just look all wrong. There's just something about the feng shui, the shape of it. I don't know what it is. These huts didn't look good, but this hut looked amazing. And here it is in, in, in real life. It's actually a, <laughs> it's a barbecue huts from Finland and actually if I tilt the camera up I don't know if I can do this can you see there's a there's a chimney at the at the top there it's actually designed to do barbecuing in it <laughs> but I didn't need it for a barbecue I just needed a space to do some work when we when we moved here I was thinking I'd love to be on YouTube but how could I compete with Californian blondes reviewing GoPros beside their swimming pool dressed in a bikini I had this thought I think about two years and then I realized I've got a place so I'm sat in there going mm, I've got nothing to show or share with YouTube and I was literally sat right there when I was thinking it let's get these blinds moved and I'll get rid of that gap and I'll show you how it's looking at the moment let's go inside so let the camera adjust this is how the hut looks today five years on I've got an IKEA standing desk this adjustable look you can get the handle out and raise it I think I've raised it about twice and they were both to make videos. I haven't really worked much standing up, but I like the idea of it. I've got my drill, my special drill. <coughs> but, oh, dusty. But let me show you the problem. It's, it's over here. So I am going to move this hook all the way from here to over here. And that will fix all of the security issues here in the Happy Hut. Removing the IKEA hot valves blind is really easy. You just push this button here, it's like a catch and that releases it on this side and you can kind of twist it off so if I push the button there it just releases it like that oh it's a bit of dust there I've also got a few neighbors in here look there's a huge spider just under that gap there I wonder if he'll come out I think that's his exoskeleton there ah uh, I could get rid of this I think I need uh, just a proper screwdriver. Do you like these running shots? Gives it a sense of urgency, right? Here is my precious toolbox, angelic cord. And there is the screwdriver. Back to the hut. Let's 
So let's try the screwdriver on this really tough bit of wood. This is just in as a pilot hole. And now I've got something to drill into. All I need to do now is to hook the hop files onto the clips and then just push them up till they click. There we go, job done. Oh, that's perfect. And now I need to do exactly the same, but on this side. We're in a really special week at the moment. This is the one week of the year where it's the end of the cold winter and it's just the start of the super hot summer. So the temperature in here is just right. I've got to do this today. And now I can clip this one on. It works, it works. So let's now see how much I can see down the side of these blinds from the outside. I don't know if I can do this in daylight, but I, I can see already. Whoa, can't see a thing. You cannot see a thing. Let's take a look on the other window. Oh, that's fantastic. You can't see my printer gobbling up ink. I really appreciate you being here for me waffling on about this building. I've had to do this to break the droughts. I haven't put a video up on this channel for I think six months now. And it feels good to, to finally get some stuff out of my head and to finally fix those blinds. And obviously if you want to see what happens next, there's a subscribe button and here's what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, bye.